Today on the Whitey Show, we are reviewing a very special game, Beyond Two Souls. I was a huge fan of both Indigo Prophecy and Heavy Rain. I was very excited to finally get my hands on Beyond Two Souls, a PlayStation 3 exclusive that tries to merge this exciting gameplay mix with this true cinematic experience. You play as a young girl named Jody, and you go through many stages of her life, from being a kid to a teenager to an adult. You'll jump around in her life and try to piece together this jumble mess that's in her mind and figure out just exactly how she got to the point of almost dying multiple times in her life. She has an entity that's named Aiden who helps her and together they're going to learn to survive in this cruel and harsh world. So is Beyond Two Souls worth checking out? Well, let's find out. Tell them to leave me the fuck alone because next time I'll kill everyone. Which part of man that ain't got to change your head? The positives are the true cinematic feel of it. I mean, it truly feels like you are watching a movie half the time. It's so well done that sometimes when the gameplay actually kicks in, I'm still thinking it's a cutscene. It just flows really well and I have no complaints when it comes to wanting you to draw you into the cinematic world. The gameplay of dodging stuff, picking up stuff and so on works well enough. It makes for some intense action set pieces and other times it brings a little bit more to the table. Especially when you're just playing as her when she's a little girl, you're not doing much action, but it's kind of cool to just do everyday things and kind of get this atmospheric feel of the game. Also, playing as Aiden works relatively well, and though he's limited to what he can actually do, doing those things is always fun, like taking over people's bodies or just beating the shit out of other demons. Graphics and voice acting are probably some of the best in the entire generation. I had to sit back and realize sometimes that this isn't real. Because the way it's shot, the way they move, the way they talk, it's so real that they sound like, oh my god, in a movie. It's amazing. It truly is. And it makes me great. You know, I love being a gamer at this point where our technology is this advanced that it feels like that. The game also has a pretty decent amount of stuff to do. From different outcomes and different situations to having a pretty long game just in general, I mean it'll take you anywhere from 8 to up to 15 hours to actually beat this game. Which is saying a lot seeing as Heavy Rain was maybe 8 hours and Indigo Prophecy was maybe 7. <laughs> Last but not least, I enjoyed the story. It kept me interested the entire time and I honestly like jumping around to different times in her life versus just going straight through her, you know, life as a kid to an adult. Jumping around to me kept it fresh and I think it was pretty easy to, you know, keep where everything goes. I mean, they give you the dates, they give you what happened, they even show you a timeline showing you where you are in that point in life. I mean, I don't understand how it's hard to follow. I mean, it's not a jumbled mess. It's really, really, really fucking easy to follow. <laughs> IGN. Um, but yeah, anyway, it's super easy to follow and I actually thought it kept it fresh for once instead of just being the same old, same old. Okay, so the bad. There are bad here, and there's even one ugly. The bad. Some wonky movements with the controls. Sometimes I'll be walking, the camera changes the angle, and then I'm heading back to where I came from. Also, the movements when dodging stuff in action scenes can be really hard to see sometimes, and you're gonna screw up. Good thing, though, that they give you a couple of chances, so you don't have to worry too much about that. The story, while I enjoyed it and it stayed interesting to me, it was much more fantasy based than their last title, Heavy Rain. You have to accept that they're ghosts and these entities and so on, but if you can, you know, accept that and you like the fantasy world, you're going to enjoy it. If not, you're going to think this is dumb in comparison to Heavy Rain. The only ugly feature is the game's endings aren't really going to change no matter what you do the entire game. Uh, the endings basically come down to the choice you make 
at the last, I believe, last chapter. It was the last second. Aside. Either way, it's very close to the end. So all the stuff you do and all the choices you make really don't matter. I mean, they change entire scenes. And if you want to take each chapter as its own story, you could because they mostly wrap up with, uh, on their own chapter. But it doesn't really matter in terms of the end result. Uh, I thought that was a little cheap, you know? It just kind of sucked. Beyond isn't for everyone. Some will say that it lacks gameplay and it's just a movie. Some will hate the story. Some won't even bother because the new systems are about to come out. If you are one of those three, I'm gonna be honest, I feel sorry for you, but I'm not gonna try to convince you or change your mind or write a whole essay of why this is a fun and different unique game. I enjoyed my time with Beyond, despite some of the flaws that were a bit more evident than their last game, Heavy Rain. If you enjoy the story of this one though, it's gonna suck you right in. Traveling different places, using Aiden as help, and the amazing work on the graphics and voice acting really make this adventure worth playing through at least once. With a decent amount of content, I could definitely recommend this title. While it's not amazing, it's certainly a great cinematic piece that you're going to play and enjoy. I give Beyond Two Souls an 8 out of 10, and I think it's a great way for Sony, as they're publishing, to go out with a bang. Thank you, Sony, once again. You deliver these unique experiences that may not be for everyone, but you know what? They fucking work for me. Thank you very much. Goodbye. It's not just a feeling. Everyone is looking at us. But most important thing, act natural. If anyone speaks to you, just smile. So do you want me to act natural, or do you want me to smile? I didn't know you had a sense of humor. Brothers, I give him everything. I never sweat the dollars. You got two options. Friends are just another other. I see enough fix to know your true colors. Uh, most niggas never want to see you ballin'. They rather see you fallin'.